And I thought we could have a go at some more jam jar geology today. And this time, I think we can have a look at how crystals form. So you may have collected crystals or seen crystals in rocks when you've been out and about. It could look like this lovely quartz crystal here, or it could look like some of these beautiful purple amethyst crystals, or it could even look like this particularly interesting rock here which is halite or rock salt you might like this uh, salt on your fish and chips or it could be keeping the roads clear so it's a very useful crystal now if crystals form in a couple of different ways you can get evaporation leaving uh, crystals of the material behind such as the halite or you can get when a liquid cools and forms a solid so when you get ice forming that's that's crystalline water and the longer it takes for that liquid to turn into a solid the the bigger and the clearer your crystal is so if you want to have a go at making your own crystals you're going to need some salt some hot water and uh, a jar and some string to get your mineral, in this case salt, to dissolve into your water. It needs to be nice and hot, so be very careful. You might want an adult to help you with this. I'm going to put some of my water in there and then want to pour as much salt as will dissolve in here. You want to put your string into your liquid and uh, mineral solution. And this is going to wick up that liquid and let the salt crystals precipitate out on the string. So that uh, needs to be left for a couple of days so you didn't have to wait. I've got one here and there are salt crystals precipitated out along the string. So you've got some crystals at the top and all the way along the bottom. So let me know how you get on um, making your jam jar crystal growing kit. See if you can get some slightly bigger crystals than the one I've got here. 